Do you remember what you learned in elementary school? Probably not much, right? And even if you do, the information you learned is most likely wrong. Like we now know, Columbus did not discover America and Pluto is not a planet. Actually, new findings in astronomy, anthropology, genetics, physics, and chemistry make obsolete not only what we learned, but also our generation. No one can know everything, but just based on what I know, I am stunned. And some of the new findings may be the key to solving even more mysteries. Today I want to share with you what scientists have found about our cousins, the Neanderthals. Neanderthals were not the dumb short ape men you were told. The average Neanderthal male height was 164 to 168 centimeters. And the average female was about 152 to 156 centimeters. Compare that with modern day Chinese man's height of 169.2 centimeters and Chinese women at 158.7 centimeters. They're not really short. Please also note that we are using the modern day Chinese data, which is probably at least four inches taller than data from a hundred years ago. So if they were not short, were they dumb? Male Neanderthals had cranial capacities averaging 1600 centimeters compared with modern humans of 1250 to 1400 centimeters. If they were dumb, <laughs> we're dumber. Plus, scientists reassessed in 2014 evidence found in 1908 and announced it to be a 50,000 year old burial site. Fresh flowers were found at Neanderthal burial grounds. They cared for their dead, just like us. Even as far back as 176,000 years ago, an old construction was found in Brunicale Cave in France, and it proved the existence of the Neanderthal's social structure. Scientists also found some 30,000-year-old perforated human teeth that were used as ornaments in France, and some sharp stone tools like stone hammers found with traces of adhesive. This means those stones were attached to wooden shafts, possibly glued with resin or tar and bound with plant fibers or leather. We did not develop such technology till after the Industrial Revolution, and they had it between 40,000 to 120,000 years ago. The finding proved that they must use fire have ways to process the material with high heat over an extended period of time. This is unbelievable. Obviously, Neanderthals knew how to use their big brains. Of course, the real bombshell came when scientists found all non-Africans living today retained one to 3% of Neanderthal DNA. We did not kill Neanderthals. They became a part of us. Don't feel bad about that. Neanderthals lived in Europe for 600,000 years. They lived through the Ice Age, survived the last supervolcano Toba eruption 74,000 years ago. And even the meteor that hit 50,000 years ago that created the Arizona Behringer Crater did not kill them. Maybe with their blood, some of us can survive whatever the doomsday is to come. Evolution is a beautiful concept, but 45% of Americans believe God created humans and considers evolution only a theory. Many ancient alien theorists believed aliens created the human race through DNA manipulation, while many others think we are descendants of some intergalactic visitors. Although the origin of life is still a mystery, we can't say we won't find the answer anytime soon. Now, let me ask you a few questions. One, if the Neanderthals are smarter than modern humans and better adapted to the environment than modern humans, why does modern humanity survive while the Neanderthals are reduced to the 2% of hardly traceable DNA in our blood? 
Isn't that against the evolutionary theory? Are we the divine choice, not by our merit, but by our Creator's will? Now, consider this. During the 600,000 years the Neanderthals roamed Europe, they hardly changed. But in the short time modern humans have left Africa, we've occupied every corner of the Earth and changed from caveman to spaceman in just 100,000 years. The world we live in today is different from the world yesterday. Maybe to survive in this ever-changing world, we have to change also. Anthropologist John Hawkes estimates that humans go through positive selection 100 times faster than before. Hawkes said, quote, We are more different genetically from people living 5,000 years ago than they were different from Neanderthals. A few years ago, scientists found mankind is going through another evolution. 7% of human genes have changed very recently. For example, the human skulls increased quite a bit in just the last 200 years. Culture, food, and lifestyle have contributed to many of the changes. However, education, interactions, and even war may have led us to many of the changes. New disease, global wars, maybe this is another selection process the fittest have to survive to carry on our existence. A lot of people believe a new era for mankind is on the horizon. Human is going through some fundamental changes. Is it time for the release of a new version of human? Maybe the new human is what's needed for this changing world. This is Ken Peters. Thank you for watching.